Hello, Vietnam. I mean, America. <laughs> <laughs> we are live from the uh, Doomsday Bunker. It's your boys. We're the live Center from the apocalypse. Live from the apocalypse. Live from uh, not post apocalypse. What's the opposite? It's not pre it's post it's mid apocalypse, right? Yeah, we're, we're in the thick of it. Yes, we're mm, in the yeah. thick of it. But Trump, we're in, you, as you, know, you can Trump see, guys, guys I don't care about any of this. <laughs> no, Say it again. I just did. I I just did this for the comedy. Yeah, yeah. honestly, I'm not gonna. I'm, matter of fact, so you can see my face. It's your boy Jormatic, aka Loud Pack Chopra, aka Wade Chappelle, aka Wade from the Grady, aka uh, Malcolm Vets, aka I got a new one for y'all. Quarantine Tarantino. Hey. Mic drop. Word. It's uh. Just so y'all know, it's your boy Who Kid, aka Man Who Is Who, aka Mr. Did That. Oh, hey. and one more. A light skin slim. Still going with right. that. Light skin <laughs> slim. Still going strong. Word. And this is Flocka Zulu, aka Nicodemus, aka Pablo Escovich, aka Sir Black Sign the Third, aka. We can't uh, hear you. Oh, aka, <laughs> <laughs> aka sub Negro, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sub Negro. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one. Like that one. Yeah, it's yeah. just pretty straight to the point. Uh, bro, that's that's a genius one, uh, sub Negro. Uh, yeah, I, I like, like that. that. I like that. Not gonna let you get this, uh, off. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, the niggas ain't sparse at us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you ain't sponsoring hey, and you can't get none of this. For real. Okay. But how y'all um how, how y'all boys TPSG money? Oh yeah. Um honestly, um I'm trying to stay norm and, and sane to be honest with you, bro, because I noticed a trend happening recently where people are feeding into the news a lot. And mm. personally, I don't even watch that much TV, but I noticed that it was giving people a lot of anxiety. And a lot of issues. Sorry, guys. I had to fix my uh, my silky background. But no, um, <laughs> people a lot if of that, anxiety. If that if that background drops, you're just gonna see a bunch of like children cutting up videos and shit. And <laughs> really, <laughs> you're running a sweatshop uh, <laughs> behind me right now. So, <laughs> um, but no, I, I think it's creating a lot of anxiety for people. I think that it's it's kind of developed into something way more negative than I thought it would be. Like, I literally think people are going home and getting headaches because of the news and what it's telling mm -hmm. them. There's such a far reaching span between people who are either like, you know, completely like, fuck it, I'm not wearing a mask, nothing, to people mm -hmm. who won't even get the mail. Yeah, yeah. For real. Like, I, like it. I have yet to see one homeless person walk around with a mask. Mm. So it's like, depends on where you are. I think the richer you are and the more access to information that you allow yourself, it seems to be the more you want to protect, guard, and pull in, which then turns mm. into you kind of, uh, I guess, kind of creating your own dilemma in your head. You know, yeah. but if let, you can't afford to stop working and you have a lawn service. Uh, let's say you can't have access to K95, you wear a bandana, you know, so mm. I think it's, limited it's a limitation based on where you are in life and the the, the more fortunate seem to be um having the most anxiety because they have the most access the most time the most you know they don't they don't have that grind anymore because now they're stuck in one spot watching cnn fox news telling them that it's getting worse and worse and worse and people are dying every day so sure. what y'all boys think yeah I mean, um, it, it's it's it, it's been like that for years. It's fear mongering and pop propaganda. That's why you always have to go read your own shit. You have to go find out info on your own. So you don't go out here, you know, reading false articles. Like, it's turned into a meme, but it's really a problem. And what I'm talking about is our parents sharing this misinformation on WhatsApp. Like, it's a meme that Caribbean parents throw false memes and misinformation and, it's, it's, and then they share it to us you know what i'm saying and yeah you know it's, it's kind of funny now but you know it can you know it can snowball into something worse it, it's it, and it's not just parents though it's it's everybody 
Because there was even like a YouTube video that got millions of views that was spreading false information. Like, I feel like everyone is trying to find out as much as they, that they can about this and people are taking advantage. Like when you turn yeah. on the news, like that's all they talk about, dog. And that's not healthy, bro. Like, talk, like you know what I mean? Like bring in some other stuff because there's other stuff going on. You know what I mean? Like with everything, like the whole change of like this whole campaign thing going on, like this whole climate change thing going on. Like there's there's more things to talk about, you know? And I feel like because that's the main talking point, like whether or not it is um, going to be like, something to panic about, you already instilling panic, you know what I mean, regardless. True. Yeah. No, no, that's yeah. true. That's true. That you know, like that's I why just, I said, you know sorry, go ahead, go ahead. I even see people mixing footage from years ago that mm -hmm. relates enough to this catastrophe. Like let's mm -hmm. say someone grocery store knocking over someone for food. But mm -hmm. let's say the particular situation was a whole town got destroyed, a hurricane, whatever the mm -hmm. case is mixing the footage saying this is coronavirus. You see yeah. examples of this where people are spreading a lot of false information and they're 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 there there's people who are like technically for like um taking advantage of those who are less fortunate to like you know sell it at an influx uh a higher rate, you know? Mm. That's some real shit bro. That is yeah. some real Real. I heard I heard about a dude like buying a bunch of sanitizer, like a bunch of like supplies that you would need, and like mm -hmm. you know up up pricing it on Amazon. I'm like, bro, like there there are two types of people, dog. Well, not even, let me not simplify it as that. Like there there are types of people out there who only look for an opportunity. They don't it it doesn't matter at what cost, who's the cost. You know what I mean? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? How grimy it is. If it, if it's an opportunity, it's an opportunity. That's correct. And yeah. A nigga's been like real this, weird. Yeah, this this, uh, this pandemic is just really showing people's colors. Like, you know oh, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I, like, I never thought I'd see it, but I saw a video of some man, a man. It was it a homely looking woman? Either way, they were... um about the fight of old women of old women in the supermarket over um a thing of paper towels. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. the only way I could justify that if it was literally the end of days, like the sky was falling, mm. demons were chasing you. You wouldn't need paper towel anyway, but that's the only time I'd excuse that. Like public is yeah, even time. even then I'd be like, see God, I'm letting <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm but like this public stuff. is gonna restock. You have to be patient, like Mm. Like it, it's so annoying when I go to these sh stores and there's empty shelves every time I go. Like literally, since this pandemic has happened, there's a Publix down the street from my house, and I've never seen paper towel or toilet paper on their shelves since it started. It's been about a month. Mm. It's insane. Yeah, uh, not there are two Publixes by us, and both of them get get ran ran through. I don't yeah. even bother going to the other one because if I go that far and they ain't got shit, I'm gonna be hot. Like y'all better make me a roll of paper towels. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, bro, right? you say it. <laughs> but don't <laughs> say. And and it's crazy because when you see what like it, it shows how much people only give a fuck about them and theirs, and nobody else. Because mm -hmm. people go early and literally like ransack the shit. Like bro, like there are people after you that need. You know what I mean? People who can't necessarily move as fast as you, but bro, yeah, people. People only care about themselves. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy. You know who I am. And I need you to go to our website, tpsgpodcast.com. Check out the gear. We got stuff from cell phone cases all the way to hats. Go get yourself fresh. Holla. Enough about those roaches. How have you, mm -hmm. like, what have y'all been doing to, like, pass the time? Like, I know personally, <laughs> personally, Flock of Zulu can attest to this. I've been chefing it up. I don't know where this cooking, hey. well, you know, the, the cooking gene came from Pops, but it's, it's just been Dramatic lately. Dramatic has been like, cooking. Hey, let me Dramatic ask you, Dramatic has been cooking like a man possessed, bro. How, You've been putting ankle in everything. How was your flip? How was bro. your flip? Hold on, wait for it. That wrist. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you got to make sure to 
Risk has support when you flip, you know what I'm saying? Or you go, you know what I'm saying? Have a prime pan. You got a pan, you know what I'm saying? elbow at a 90 degree exactly. angle. Where? Bang. Bang. Let me move the camera. Ah, you, you see what I'm saying, kids? Ah. Ah. Mm. That's like flip straight from six. You can flip fries, you can flip chicken wings, anything. Ah. Straight, straight from six o'clock to 12 o'clock. Now. There you, there you go. Maybe put it in layman's terms. Give <laughs> him a name real quick. Time. Can we Man, give him I've been trying. Huh? I want to give uh, Dramatic a nickname Flip oh. Flair. Yo! I like, I like it. it. Flip Flair. Oh, I'm going to put right here. Flair. Right on my wrist. Right on Woo. my wrist. Flip Flair. <laughs> Woo! They're going to think you cooked that crack. For real. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, but you do. Dramatic. I'm gonna tell you right now, stop putting your eggs in a Pyrex jar and then putting it in boiling hot water. I'm gonna tell you right now, stop doing it, bro. Talking about it reminds you Why of the you old days. Why you snitching on me, my nigga? Why you snitching <laughs> on me, bro? Hey, the, hey, hey. Uh, the feds know this terminology, my nigga. Like, <laughs> like, tell me why he be picking up the eggs like. <laughs> <laughs> I've been listening to too much. I've been listening to too much Master P. Speed of which. <laughs> Big shout out to C Murder, you know, Free C Murder. I think he's the only person in a rap song to break down step by step how to cook crack. Have you ever heard the song by Get Um by Master P called Ghetto D with C Murder? It's well, off of Master P's first major I'm album, Ghetto D. I feel like there are several like, songs that teach you how to cook crack. Yeah, I don't feel like he's the only. No, no, no. But if you listen to him, you feel like once the song's over, you can go right in the kitchen. <laughs> like, he didn't spare me. Like, well, he didn't. With all the crack confidence that you need to, to start being a drug dealer. <laughs> like, what are you doing, man? I just, just finished listening to murder. Fuck you, man. Wait, you're going to walk away from this music video knowing everything you need to know to start selling drugs. But <laughs> <What's more? laughs> Come now and I will front you your first break. <laughs> <laughs> you don't pay me back, I'll shoot you. <laughs> oh, that's, 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 word, that, that's part of the that's part of the fine print. The nigga that taught me talking fast. For real. <laughs> if you do not pay C murder back his money, he will murder you. <laughs> Niggas roll up in your house. This brick is not paid back on top. <laughs> you know something actually bring up? It's funny how your your brain before something and during something could be so different. Mm, when I was watching, I was literally one of those people that was watching the NBA the night that they called off the games and they were like, yo, it's not happening. Even though games were like four or five games are still scheduled. And um, I literally watched Zion Williamson and uh, Alonzo Ball go to shoot around before they called the game canceled, right? Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> they, it was like, well, we're not about to have no sports for a while, Whoa. like or at least, right? So it's kind of scary you, thinking. Flash did you see what? To, wait, hold wait, on, yeah. Black part, flash <laughs> forward, and it's been like a month, and almost a month, and it's kind of like it's starting to become the norm, almost. Not that I don't miss sports, but it's becoming the norm slowly. Yeah. And weird, like. Like, I remember someone said during this whole thing that what if this was it? Now, of course, we're trying to handle it. We're managing things where, you know, people still making money, people still working essentials, all that stuff. But what if this was actually just the stage one, again, right? Mm. Imagine, like, never watching a LeBron James dunk again or, you know, like NASCAR races taking place. I can't because imagine. That's whoa, 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 whoa. I've out. never watched NASCAR a day in my life. Formula so, One is what you're. That's what. That's what. That's yeah, what yeah, yeah. Like, like bro, cause yeah. To be honest, they put some NASCAR on right now. I'd watch it out of desperation. Bro, they put <laughs> baseball or golf on right now. I'm probably gonna watch it. Bro, bro I'd watch curling, dog. Like, any, bro, any... I do that little football game. <laughs> Sorry, got a call. <laughs> I'll watch that game. And be like, nah, y'all. Nah, but you, it's it's those same things have been taken away from us, and now it's like I'd watch a middle school Quidditch match. 
This is how I watch a middle school Quidditch match I right now. <laughs> like anything, right? Dog. I'd watch two niggas having a stare contest, bro. Like, I'm just so. I'd watch my hair grow back. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, bear growing competitions. Go. <laughs> But no, I mean, like, what else outside of obviously the hysteria of the moment? I mean, I don't want to make the whole episode about it. Like, obviously, we still have lives. Um, you, know, but you, you know what has um, made a jump? Sorry to cut you off. In, go ahead. In the sports realm, but esports has actually like made a jump. You talking about like online gaming and everything like yeah, that, right? Yeah. Bro, yeah. I can't tell you how much gaming I've done with my friends kind of close to how we're doing this call right now but on all audio like friends i have a mm-hmm. ps do the mic and all that and that's been the only thing that's kept me kind of in that same vibe is like when you see your friends so like yeah. every couple uh, like every night or whatever we'll all hop on it'll be like eight of us on there and we're all talking shit or whatever and playing games um together but it's it's like like, I don't know. It's, it's weird to feel like that's the new norm. Yeah. You know, to feel like that's... Me and Bumbai have been getting on that FIFA and GTA right line. Now, even. Yeah. 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 So. Uh-oh. Is Wait. there lagging happening right now? Yeah. I th- yeah, there's a little bit of lag. Wait, Dramatic. I, yeah, I think I'm Dramatic's still muted. Lag. You're still muted, Dramatic. Oh, my bad. What, yeah, what I was trying to say is, like, even today when I went to Publix or anytime I go to a store and I'm walking around and I see people with masks, people with gloves, the partitions, the shields, the, um, uh, the cashiers got to put in front of them. I'm like, yo, this is really my life right now. Like, this is happening. Like, this is, yeah. like, it's it's been four weeks and it's still a part of me that's like, this is, this. I'm dreaming. Like, this is like yeah. a bad night. It's not even like a bad nightmare. It's just a weird dream that you want to wake up from. It's not mm-hmm. bad. It's not good. It's just like, oh, fucking end this shit. Like, <laughs> right. it's so weird. It's like it feels like life. It feels like life keeps getting sur- more and more surreal. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like Trump is your president, and you're like, whoa, okay, I gotta I gotta get used to that fact. Kobe died. And you're like, dang, I got to get used to that fact. That and then th- this happened. And he's like, this year, bro. Dog. That happened this year. And did you forget on January 3rd, it was almost World War Three. Do you remember that? When it bombed? Bro. That was all this year, my nigga. Mm. We are four months into the year, and we we have 40 years of stress on us already. Bro, I four feel my... Four months into the year, my nigga. I feel myself graying. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, man, but um, yeah, it, it's it's crazy. Like, I personally, I just want, I mean, obviously, I want this to be over, but I just want everybody to, like, not be stupid, I guess, because, I like, you see that um Jacksonville just opened up their beaches, uh, the Florida governor, DeSantis, declared sports as an essential business. Like, y'all just stay y'all dumbass in the house for a little while so we can have summer, so we can have fall. Like, mm-hmm. I've heard reports that it's, we're going to be locked down until – I've heard as far as fall. I heard we're going to miss fall. Yeah. I'm here like, I'm here in 2021, bro. Yeah, I, I heard that being flo- – they said regular travel, like, how you travel regularly, it won't go back to how it is until 2021. But you know what's going to make a comeback? That's crazy. No, the environment what? is making a comeback, though. Oh, oh yeah, the animals hopping out of nowhere and like Word. in species resurfacing Word. and shit. Where there's like there's like um ports because the ships aren't moving about as much. Like you know, large large um sea animals like big big ass stingrays are starting to just come up yeah. to the shore. You know what I mean? Air traffic ain't as ain't as much. You know what I mean? It go, it goes to show, and it, it makes me wonder like with seeing you know what benefits there is from us slowing down will everything go back to how it was because even businesses are, are realizing that 
um, there are certain businesses that lower their work hours and they actually realize that their, their employees are more productive now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I feel like they're, that's they're, like, I with, feel, that's like with the weather, the weather, um, ended up having a dramatic change because, uh, when all those people went inside and stopped smoking outside and, you know, generally highly populated areas or whatever, um, but I forget the name of it, but it was a it was a country over in, you know, the eastern side of the world or whatever. And they they showed like a night and day photo, basically. Not, not mm-hmm. literal day, but like meaning that the difference between yeah, the two yeah. is fast. That is like, if all we did was take better care or like, like, and this is a week after people went inside. So it's like, mm-hmm. we're literally yeah. just continuing the frustration on the earth uh atmosphere and and just like overall well-being and destroying it but then in one week we could almost fix it so it's i think that's the thing versatile nature is yeah true because because you got to remember we don't belong here it's not versatile resilient my bad yes yeah resilience is a better word we don't belong here we are intruding by the way like th- this is not ours especially where we live in Pembroke Pines this is a swamp this shit belongs okay. to the alligators and the iguanas you know what I'm saying like so mm. <laughs> like nature's just like thank you for the break I hope it lasts forever <laughs> right but um I go like one of the funniest videos I ever I, I saw uh there was this gopher just sitting at someone's window and like literally just standing there like this eating something and looking dead at their dogs, like, yeah, bitch, you can't come out here. <laughs> and, and it's like, where are the exhibits now? The animals mm. come and look at our windows and look at us. And now they're free. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, shit. But, but I thought... I didn't think about that. Uh, there was an iguana on my window scary. looking at me. No, I thought, dog, this week, it was an iguana looking at me like, you missed this shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought them could catch the Rona, too, though. What are... I know initially they say dogs or uh, I don't know if they said dogs or animals period can't catch it, but now I heard if you breathe you can catch that shit. <laughs> Dang dog. Uh, if you if you're existing well, on this yeah. earth right now, you can catch it. <laughs> you guys seen those videos where people are like doing like high superimposed images or like tests three D rendering where like someone will cough and it'll show like how vast the spread is. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You know, basically, you have almost no opportunity to escape, you know, because if, if like, the one I saw was in a grocery store, so it's aisles, and it's like, mm-hmm. if this an aisle one over from you that you can't even see coughs, it'll raise up and spread out like that around them, and then you could be sitting, sorry, let's say you didn't even hear them sneeze or cough, and you sitting there reading the back of the label, and you just start to breathe in the micro versions mm-hmm. of what that cough was, so... Yeah, that's why these yeah. stores don't let you in without a mask now. Like, yeah, like they will not let you in there without a mask. Like, it's it's, I mean, it's the norm for now. It, and, and another thing is, um, at the beginning of it, was, it kind of showed you that time is time isn't real. I remember a week after there's like, oh, it's been a week since they shut down the NBA. I'm like, wait, that was last week? I thought mm-hmm. it was a month. It's only we've only been on lockdown for what four weeks now. Four or five mm-hmm. weeks. I've been at home working for four or five weeks. This shit feels like forever. Literally. It shows you how much time is spent just like in the rat race. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. And how, how much more we could have of our lives. It's crazy. Absolutely. Yeah. And I saw a meme that said there's no Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's either today or tomorrow, yesterday. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> like all the days. It, Easter didn't even it, feel like Easter, dog. That shit yeah. scared me. Easter did not feel like Easter. I woke up, I'm like, wait, it's supposed to be something today. And then I look at my mm. phone, and it's like, oh, shit, it's Easter. Like, it don't just feel like Easter. It, it's so weird. For real. And like, or it didn't feel like Easter. For real. Well, like, I, what, like, I feel like... Um, what, before, what, what, um, what were you saying? Hey, dog, Flocka. Oh, I was saying that, um, like, this time, dog, it's like, we can use it, though, you know, to to better understand ourselves, better understand the field that we're in, better understand mm-hmm. a new skill. As you say, know. you know, and this is a weird thought that I had, which is, do we need a quarantine once a year? 
Bro. Like a purge? <laughs> like a purge? Bro, hey. <laughs> A, a, like, a annual, a annual well, sit your ass down. Yeah, because it, I think also like, okay, we just mentioned two things. The earth benefited from it. And then mm. we, so, well, I don't know, because some people are going stir crazy, cabin fever and all that. But mm. um, I think like you've seen, definitely seen more people exercise outside since this mm. is all. Um, I, I think like my neighborhood is full. I can't even drive home without accidentally like. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm seeing new people every day. I'm like, when did you move here? Word. Yeah, but you get what I'm saying. Like, is it? The, it's obviously a lot of negatives, which only really surround itself in the disease realm. But the mm-hmm. positive that I, I took away from having this long four or five week quarantine, it almost seemed like something we could use. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I, 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 I probably was quarantine ready to be honest with you. I mostly work from home, so. <laughs> It's what I do, and hey, I've been. Yeah, I've been so you invented for, the disease. I'm you know reporting you. Ooh, that's, look, he's bald headed, just like an evil villain, dog. Lex Luthor, fucking Lex Luthor. Bro, but I understand oh. it, dog, because like, I, I, I've, I've been a recluse like for a while, so it's yeah. like, eh, I've been preparing I'm 50, for this. 50. I'm fifty fifty, like. They said, oh, you got to stay home. I'm like, oh, I bet. Oh, y'all can go out. I bet. I'm either way. However, mm-hmm. every man has their limit. Oh, yeah. I will go to the supermarket and buy salt before I stay in the house for 24 hours. <laughs> Bro, no, you're right. I've, I've gone outside just for the sake of going outside. Like the other just day, for the I, literally, I literally hopped in my car with nowhere to go. <laughs> I just drove, like I drove, like, where did I, like I drove up to, up to like, um, like hiatus and just made a circle around and it just felt good just yeah. to have the sun hit my skin bro and just be out like it, it yeah my mood like 10 yeah it's, then, like, it's like it's nothing wrong with being inside but i want to have the option to leave that's what's bugging me well, yeah. i want to have the option to go out and you know what i'm saying like i never thought i said but i kind of miss winwood i oh never God. thought i'd say that Mm. I mean, I like going there, but I can never miss it. But I think I fucking miss it. It's crazy. Word. I think it makes sense. I think it makes total sense. Like, I miss small experiences, like being able to go. For instance, I'm a fan of Chipotle. I mm. have yet to be able to walk inside and actually get the food made the way I want it to be. So I've been trying to order, but then it's like completely slop. You get what I'm mm. saying? Yeah. In front of you. So they slap that bitch that together. Big to me or to anybody, but it's it's a difference. It's definitely yeah. a difference. It feels something you relate to, and that's why you know you're missing Winwood and Paul drove today just to sorry Flocka drove today to to literally just get the sun on his arm. So it's like we're yeah, not I'm, like I miss yeah. the gym. I miss the library. Like yeah, like, I'll I never the take the piece. library for granted again, bro. I know like, that's, a, that's a quiet like, place that's not your crib to go and just, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I used mm-hmm. to tell my out of town friends and cousins, like, oh, I don't have to worry about the beach. It'll always be there. I can go to the beach anytime I want. Not anymore. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Except if oh. you're in Jacksonville, because them niggas are dickheads. I still can't believe they opened the beach in Jacksonville, though. I still when, like, can't believe that shit. I, I know I had, um, Again, this is this is where I start to cross the lines of I don't know if this is true, um, because it could have been something documented for a completely different reason. But I saw a video today, obviously in social media standards. What you need to know is above and the video is below. And mm-hmm. basically it was just someone saying that this is people being um it was it was it was a multiple dead bodies that were in the, the coast of the ocean. Like, you know, when mm-hmm. you enter and they were floating up and back and up and back and basically wrote above was that this is coronavirus victims who were less fortunate so let's say i don't know where the country was but everyone that was laid out was black so let's say this is a poor black country for whatever reason right mm-hmm. and these people in this video is true they're saying that these people were dead and then thrown overboard i guess to mm-hmm. just they don't they they're for whatever reason maybe they don't have family they're not important whatever the case is and they threw them overboard in order to just get rid of the bodies but the bodies swell and float and then they go mm-hmm. right back to the shore 
So mm -hmm. when I watch this video, you're talking about, I mean, yeah, we're going over time now, but you're talking about 10 people and it was all looked like all black men. And mm -hmm. they, I mean, I saw a dude in a plaid shirt. I saw a dude with just a regular white tee on. It was, it mm -hmm. didn't look like anything that was like, oh, these people went through the morgue. It looked like they were shot and killed, mm -hmm. you know? So that's why it's kind of hard to dictate that information is accurate. Yeah, but there was a there was a incident in um where was it? Just the other day when they were dumping bodies in the Nile, um, it, um, but it was it was some it was some different. So if if it's something, it might it might have been that. But like, yeah, yeah, but honest, honestly, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past them to nah. you know, kill people and like all right, honestly, think about it, think about it. I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Let's say there's like a small nation or something. It don't have to be black. It doesn't be anyone. And they have one person that has it in their small nation. And, you know, it can be spread to them in like a week. I would have put a pass in killing that person. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. you know, that's very, you see how I got specific as to be a small nation. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. I would have put it as, like, because but, I yeah. have a bleak out, I have a bleak outlook on humans in general. So, that shit wouldn't yeah. surprise me. I'm What's, sorry. Do you it's, think it's just, if, if, if they come out, if they come out with a vaccine for it, will you trust it? No. I, I can't just up and trust it. I can't just trust it off that. I, I need, I need something. And, that, and that's the thing. And I feel like that's going to be a huge problem. Because yeah. I feel... I feel like they're going to be like, we're going to come out with a, a, a vaccine. And I feel like black people, for understandable reasons, are going to be like, I don't know if I trust that. And you know what I mean? Heard of eugenics? <laughs> you word, exactly. You know what I'm saying? I've heard of the, the, the Tuskegee experiments, though. Like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And that, that, that shit. Margaret and, Singer. Word, and, that shit, and that shit wasn't long ago. And, and, and survivors from that are still trying to get settlements off that. But that's the benefit nice. of creating mass hysteria is that you put mm. people in a position to forget their morals and their and their and their way of thinking so mm -hmm. i mean yeah. we keep going guys we ran over our time already um mm. we yeah. do these during quarantine to kind of get a lot of oh, this absolutely. thinking and information out but um i did want to ask you guys to um quickly in a very short span one sentence please don't make it a paragraph um a, a, a couple of words not like a sentence, like a phrase that you think you would want to share with people. Uh, to give you an example, um, I chose to flip a little bit on something where people, um, I've heard people say, but um, I'm going to say stay black and be beautiful. Mm. I and like it. Listen to that thing. Be beautiful. Mm. Meaning be kind. Be things that people are attracted to. Word, word. Now, physical attribute of beauty mm -hmm. true true, okay. true. Guys. well my, my mine is simple you know that's just pray. yeah mine is simple just pray and stay clean mm. all right and what about you Flocka? i'll say stay strong and grow all right well fellas we're gonna be out i'm who kid aka mr did that aka license light skin slim it is your boy, Dramatic, a.k.a. Wave Chappelle, a.k.a. Wavy McGrady, a.k.a. Loud Pack Chopper, a.k.a. Quarantine Tarantino. Hey, and this is your boy, Flock Azul, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. Sir Black Thunder, sir, a.k.a. Sub Negro. Are we out with it? Wait, wait, did you say Sub Negro? Is he Sub Zero? Yeah. Oh my God, that's incredible. I didn't hear it the first time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Awesome.